So I wanted to thank everybody for their support that I got for when that dude saw all my videos. Everybody was awesome. Got you now. That was close. You almost got me. Good morning, YouTube. It is a dreary, dreary, check it out, dreary Monday. And I'm about to head to the gym. We, uh, there's not a lot to do today because it's kind of nasty weather. It's like 40 degrees. And I, the only thing really can do is upload videos and go to the gym. So I've uploaded like three videos so far. And now I got to battle the rain and the cold, go up there because you got to keep your mind and body strong. First thing, also I've been reading the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. If you haven't checked that out, you got to check that out. Between that and Napoleon Hill and Bob Proctor, those are probably the three most important starter books that I've really read. So I've been really trying to knock out at least a book a week because if you can knock out a book a week, that's what most great CEOs do. You're just not only working your, like not only when you combine that with the gym being physically strong, Get your mental stimulation going on too and not spend so much time on Facebook. Got my uh, pre-workout shape right here. It popped up and said we have no solid workout down. So I wanted to thank everybody for their support that I got for when that dude saw all my videos. Everybody was awesome and both supporting me helping me out reporting videos and communicating and I, I felt like there was an awesome line of communication between everybody out there in subscriber land and on Facebook and Instagram and I really appreciate it guys thanks a lot let me know if I can help y'all out in any way um, it was a really learning experience about how much copyright infringement actually goes on on YouTube and what to actually do about it because I was completely lost in how to report uh, these violations or even submit, submit the proper forms and what to do and how to fill them out. So thanks everybody. All right, since it's pretty much a nasty dreary day that there's really not much I can do today other than answer some questions and put out some thoughts that I've had recently. I wanted to address the issue check it out there's a squirrel it's right there so some of you probably noticed that I changed my intro to my channel and I did this at a real real conflict because at the end of it I just said it was something that came off the top of my head randomly while I was releasing a fish from the old days and I just said assalamu alaikum and I didn't think of anything about it when I said it. I just, you know, it was just some Arabic from back in the day I threw out there that just about every GI has learned over the last 10 years in your, in your culture training with the military, whether it's the Marine Corps, Navy, Army. Every vet can either spew out something from the old days, whether it was German, Vietnamese, or Arabic. And so I said it and I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. But I have gotten more people like telling me no wonder bad shit happens to you because you're spewing Islamic garbage. I was like, first, it's not Islamic, it's Arabic. And two, uh, it, I don't, I'm like, I, I don't get why it's such a big deal. And that's one thing I've noticed about YouTube is things that you don't even think are big deals. Like it's something in the background that you didn't even notice when you posted the video will create the most turmoil on your channel. And I'm just like, I don't understand. I didn't really get it at first, but I understand it now. Between the censorship of YouTube with cussing or with the censorship of the culture of the trolls on YouTube, it makes it really hard to make good content sometimes. So yes, I did change the intro and took it out. I also had to take shit out because if you know me and most vets do, or at least Army and Marine Corps, we cuss like it, like, like that's just what we do. It's like foul language just spews out of our mouth half the time. So with YouTube, I've had to censor myself so much because 
like even the smallest words, YouTube will unmonetize your videos. And you know, one thing I wanted to do with YouTube was to keep it raw and original because stuff that you couldn't put on TV, you could put on the internet. And you're really not being yourself if you're censoring yourself or you're censoring other things. But I realized I had to censor language. And so now I've taken a lot of that out and you can't put many gory things and you can't do anything political. So I really try to keep politics and religion out of this channel. And because, you know, it's just YouTube is just so into censoring everybody now it's just really gotten crazy because one of my main goals with this channel was actually because i wanted it to be raw and original and completely like what you saw was the real like what really happened especially with fishing so it was like you were getting something that you know wasn't three days of filming to show you three fish it was what actually happened on that day a little story behind it and what goes on on the day to day you know fishing and, and what it's like to live around here and be around here and, and and how how things in this part of the country like actually works and what it's like to live here and just like for y'all to be able to experience it through me and then you know me be able to experience through other vloggers what life's really like over there so yeah so like that was like a, a drawback to all the censorship was you can't be yourself really anymore and you can't voice your own voice your own opinions and Especially with this last six months with the election going on everything people were on pins and needles willing to just like destroy each other I was like, I thought we were all Americans and just Just trying to hang out and catch some fish, but it really wasn't like that I mean they would look into any part of your video to see if you're playing for the other team. I was It was crazy All right, so I'm finishing it up. I've learned you can't let the trolls get you down you can't feed and water the trolls. You just gotta delete and block folder them all. They're not adding to the positive vibes in my life. And they're not adding anything for me. So I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. I wanna thank y'all again for having my back and giving me that positivity when the, the dark clouds were coming. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that I got a new combo. Check it out. It just came in the mail. It's the Pen Battle 3000. And I got it on my inshore ugly stick. Pretty excited about it. I got it on sale at Walmart for 79 bucks. I don't know if they still have them on there, but they got them for 79 bucks. Pen Battle 2 for 79 bucks. They're usually like 119. I was pumped. All right, so that's all I got. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you hadn't. And comment down below if you got anything to say about this stuff. Love hearing what y'all got to say. See you later.